check this out. So what I've done here is I've changed out this coil, which changes out the frequency of the oscillator, as well as added this coil here, wound on this old medicine container here. So essentially what this does is it sort of fine tunes the frequency as well as changes the voltage, you know, raises it higher. So info about these coils will be in the description. So what's really interesting about this is that at the output here, uh, the frequency is so high that you can actually get a discharge, sort of an arc, to open air. And at higher powers, it can actually resemble a real flame, which is quite interesting. So I've got it at 24 volts, which is about the best configuration I've found with this circuit. And I'll just start cranking up the bias here. All right, started working. And unfortunately, with this new coil and with the resonator attached, it's at a much lower frequency, which is also lower than the resonator's resonant frequency. So I will have to tune that to get the best output. But for now, this is all we got. So I uh, crank it up even more. And when I do touch the output, it does draw a bit of an arc. And as you can see, there's a little flame there, uh, sort of like a flame. I mean, it's not, as I say, higher power enough, so it's still purple. But as you can see, the frequency has changed up to 16 megahertz, and it's got that open air discharge, and it doesn't look like a Tesla coil discharge. And here's the current, it draws, it never really goes above an amp. And I'll just give it a bit more bias. Don't want to get it too high. That's the drain to source voltage, by the way, because too high and you'll kill the fat. So, yeah, as I say, needs to be tuned as it likes to detune itself and power output isn't as good as I'd like it to be.